All right, so this video is to go over how to implement uh, the recent workaround that Microsoft has put out. They put a uh, guidance record out for CVE 2022-3019, known as the Microsoft Support Diagnostics Tool Vulnerability. Um, I think there's some other names for it. I uh, don't recall. Actually, I think it's the name of this file right here, Folina. Um, maybe something to do with Italy or something. I don't know. Anyways, the point of this uh, video is to demonstrate how to take the workaround and use group policies to to um, implement this without having to say, for instance, go to every computer. Maybe if uh, you don't have an RMM tool, uh, maybe you don't have scripting capabilities, whatever the reason is, maybe you just wanna choose to do everything through Microsoft, so you wanna do this using a group policy. So this tutorial is to show you just how to do that. Um, I did get a POC from John Hammond, and uh, we will use that if time permits, uh, just to demonstrate that this is actually working. Um, so, let's jump into this um, as you can see here I've got this pre-staged we're gonna do a query for this uh, value that currently exists and again this document tells us we're gonna delete that but rather than deleting it through command line we are going to create a um, group policy so we're going to create a new group policy under the group policy objects so it's not linked to anything we're going to call this msdt uh, temp fix okay next we are going to create another one which will be to basically reverse this and we'll call this msdt rollback and you can call this whatever you want um the 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 purpose is to push the fix then roll back the fix so naming convention can be whatever works for you um, so under the temp fix we're going to go into computer configuration preferences windows settings and then registry okay just right click anywhere in here and hit registry wizard now this can take a couple minutes but what you want to do is drill down into the H key classes root and then we're going to jump down all the way to ms ms dash might have went past it already hopefully not yeah I did so ms dash we'll see it here in a second all right there ms dash ms dt now we're going to be just deleting this key right here so just select that and hit finish okay because once we delete this it's going to delete everything underneath it and you can see currently if we double click on it it's set to update so if it didn't exist it would update it and put that key in there what we want to do is delete so hit okay all right so that pretty much ends this group policy now for the rollback what we're going to do is go to the same spot we're going to go to computer configuration preferences Windows settings registry and then new registry wizard <clears throat> click next again HK classes root and then find the exact same so hopefully I didn't pass it again I'm trying to make this video not take forever so once we find this here what we want to do is select this key and then get all these sub uh, the the D words all the other values okay um, depends on what's in each one of them there's a reg and then we want this here select that what we're gonna do here is restore everything that we're gonna be getting ready to delete so just make sure everything's selected all the way down this tree here okay and then you're gonna hit finish now we don't have to do anything else because again it's on they're all defaulting to update so that means it's going to create these if they don't exist all right so now that we've got this in place now one quick thing let's let's go over here I've got a machine sitting here a Cali machine um, this is that POC given to me by John um, which is publicly available you can go out there and get it from github um, so I've got it listening here it's got the file staged um, I've actually already downloaded the 
.doc and we're gonna give this a whirl here. So again, you query this, it still exists. We haven't actually implemented the workaround yet. And what we're gonna do here now is run this file. Now you watch right here, you'll see that URL. See that's going to my machine processing. Uh, what just happened? That was weird. Hmm. Hold up. Very interesting. One second. Oh, so. I'll tell you what was happening. Defender. Defender's doing its job. So anyways, I had to disable this, okay? Because to kind of show you how this is gonna work, I need to, to disable Defender. Um, let's try this one more time. So it goes into the detecting issue. Now, what we'll do is we're gonna bounce back over here and you can see that I've got a connection. If I run dir, I can see this. If I do, uh, IP config, it's showing the IP of the machine that we're on. If I do who am I, you can see that I am running as the user that I was running at. So um, anyways, you can tell that it's working. So what we're going to do now, um, okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to actually link this temp fix to my endpoints organizational unit, okay? So this is gonna to apply to my computer systems that are there. Now, everybody's environment's different, so apply it in the correct location. Um, this is a very simple test lab, therefore it's not too big and very, very simple. I'm just gonna link it to my endpoints and it's gonna to apply to all three of my computers in there, right? Um, what we're gonna do now is pull up the command prompt here and one thing I want to do again let's see what was that command is reg query um, da, 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 what was it um, uh, gosh darn it let's see here that's right H K underscore classes underscore root backslash ms dash msdt and you can see it's still here but we're going to run gp update if i could spell it right and once this is done you're going to see that we're going to get an error because that um, will no longer exist and that will mean that the um, temporary workaround is in place okay so if we run the query again, it says, hey, can't find the registry key or value. So we know that it's working at this point, um, at least from the perspective of it has removed the uh, registry key and values. So now when I double click on this here, you'll see it still is going to reach out. However, this should not work because it didn't actually call on the Microsoft support diagnostics tool. So if we jump back over to my listening machine, you can see here there's no there's no connection back through Netcat. Um, so it's really not working. So that's great. So what do we do now? Um, let's say Microsoft releases the fix. This is all done. How do we roll back? Now you could just if you have a registry backup, you could you know, push that out however you may. But what I liked was with this group policy rollback feature is I'm going to link that. So fast forward, Microsoft puts a patch. They say, okay, everybody, you can uh, undo the workaround. So what you'll wanna do is put the rollback into place and then um, either you know, delete it or unlink the uh, GPO from 
from the endpoints. Okay, so now if we go back to the workstation and we run GP update again, what will happen here is it's going to put everything back the way it was before we got started. So essentially this is the same as the backup as long as you select all of the keys and the values inside of the uh, wizard when you're setting up the group policy. So now if we do a query here again, you can see that it's back there. And actually what we can do is just jump into um, regedit and see, let's refresh this. You can see that, that it exists. I was in here earlier, that's why it's defaulted there. But you can see everything exists. And um, if we run this, my assumption is it's going to give us um, a connection right back into the system again. So anyways, you can see that this uh, clearly works the same way as Microsoft uh, provided their workaround. However, the difference is um, you can do this you know, to mask computers at once, um, again, if you choose to use the group policy method. So hopefully people find this uh, useful. Again, I wasn't really trying to go over the remote code execution. However, it did kind of come into play so you could see that it did work and it didn't work when the group policy was applied and un unapplied. So um, again, hopefully this is uh, beneficial and thanks for watching.